In this video, I will explain an AI-driven qualitative data analysis tool that is AI Lies. After launching AI Lies, I don't think so. We should focus more on NVivo, Atlas, or TI, or MaxCuda for qualitative data analysis because AI Lies can handle all types of qualitative analysis strategies such as thematic analysis, content analysis, case study analysis, grounded theory, ethnography, phenomenology, etc. For working with AI Lies, you go to Google and type AILies.com. You will land on this page. First step is to upload data file, whether it's MS Word file, PDF file, Excel file, audio, video. Second step is to select the analysis. It could be thematic analysis, content analysis, frequency analysis. It's up to you which strategy you want to apply in your search. In third step, you will get analysis report. So it's very easy and user-friendly tool. If I scroll down to explain it further, so you can see here uh, use cases and examples. And if you belong to academia, you click here and you can apply in your search phenomenology, ethnography, case studies, grounded theory, et cetera. And if you want to do evaluation, you click here and you will get the following evaluations. And if you belong to market and product research, you click here and you can get customer segmentation analysis, competitive analysis, voice over the customer, brand perception studies, et cetera. And if you belong to UX, and product design, you click here and you can uh, apply the following strategies. This is a brief introduction about AI lies. Here I take an example. This example will help you understand how it works. I am using AI lies free version. You know, free version has some limitations. I click on upload data. You can, you can drop here your files or you can click on my advice. I click on my device. I'm going to upload my data files. Participant one, participant two, participant three. I click open button to upload the files. Here you can see files are uploaded successfully. Next step is to choose the type of analysis. So I click on get summary, get themes, board book and frequency analysis. If you want to get uh, uh, answer to your questions or frequency analysis, you can also select this checkbox. And if you want to compare uh, uh, segments like between gender, type of publication, et cetera, you can also select this uh, compare across segments. So next uh, step is to uh, please specify the name of project I'm working on online purchasing factors. So I type here online purchasing factors. This is my project name. And then you can select language. Okay, I select here English. And uh, after that, you click on next button. Here you can, uh, you can get AI generated themes or you can uh, use your own themes or code books. So I select uh, this checkbox. Uh, that is saying get AI generated themes. So I select, and then uh, it, it, it takes few few seconds to 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 generate AI themes uh, from your documents. So AI generated themes are created. Uh, you can add or delete uh, themes by clicking on plus and minus uh, button here. Uh, you can see here themes, sub themes, codes and uh, next step is to click on save button if you are agree with all these themes you you don't want to add or remove themes you can click on save button and then you click on finish button now you can see here project is completed now i click on online purchasing factor i click here this is the output of my project that is online purchasing factor if I click on summary, you will find here complete summary of my uh, interview transcript. And uh, if I click on uh, word cloud, you can see here, you will find here, uh, yeah, 
this is this is word cloud okay and uh, if i click on uh, word cloud bar chart you click here and you will get uh, word cloud bar chart so uh, and if you if you uh, click on a csv file you can you can download a code book for ai thematic analysis it will give you uh, main theme sub theme code and description so here i explain what ai lies can do uh, i did not explain what uh, thematic analysis is uh, i'm I, I did not explain these things you know you you might have worked with uh, nvivo or uh, atlas ti you you have worked on all these uh, concepts so i just explain here uh, instead of using uh, nvivo atlas ai max you can you can you can use ai driven uh, qualitative data analysis tool that is uh, ai lies and you can do all these things all these uh, qualitative uh, strategies to 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 uh, uh, to analyze your qualitative data thank you for watching please subscribe my channel